I've set up uh, in my living room, I know, but I've set it up here um, just on top of a, a garbage bag, and we're just going to get right to it. Now let me go ahead and get my gardening gloves on. Had to get a new pair, so I use them so much. All right. So just going to go ahead and bang the side. Now, I did not just get this today. This has been with me now for about, I'd say going on two weeks. I like to wait till it settles in before I go ahead and give it a good transplant. But oh my gosh, see what I mean? There is no soil in there. It is just pure roots, even on the top there. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that right now. All right. Now. With boxwoods, they are very resilient to pruning, root pruning, or pruning on the top. So I know that we can do this, and uh, it'll be all right. Now, I'm just going to start by just hacking this away. Okay, through here. And I'm also going to show you, we're not just going to put into a regular bonsai pot right away, as this obviously was in a one-gallon pot. I do want it to, uh, I don't want to kill it by uh, doing too much to it. So I'm going to put it in a bonsai training pot that I have. It's just, this is actually what it looks like here. It's, as you can tell, it's a big difference from there to there. So we need to get those roots. And I already took off this. This half, like this, this is the way it was. So just gonna see around how much that we're gonna have to take off to really get it good in here. And we're definitely gonna have to take off some more. So let's go ahead and do that. Now boxes, like I said, they're very resilient to root pruning. This is not going to kill it. If anything, it's probably going to make it healthier. It's going to make the roots attach. We're getting all that, anything else that was in there, all out of that root ball. So now that we've got it down to this point here, we're going to start to use our rake. So we do want to just rake out these roots. We want to just make them all nice, nice. It's okay. Take some of them out of there. Get all that old soil out of there. Now I'm going to go ahead and rake this for a second. And I'll be right back with you in a moment when I have it more a little bit raked out. All I'm going to do is just keep going from the bottom. Like so. And on the top until I feel like all of that black and as you can see in there there is a little bit is out actually shouldn't be too much more I could probably do this on camera I just don't want to bore you guys and I'm just gonna keep going with it get this nice and done we're gonna uncover the Navari which is the surface roots there and yeah, I'll be right back with you guys in just a moment Okay guys, so I went ahead and um, I did, went ahead and I just kept raking this out, just brought it all to the side, to the front. I did, it, I did not want, it, it took me a little bit so I misted my roots as I went along. We don't want our roots to dry out as we're working on it. Now like I said, these can take a hard pruning of the roots and up top, but you don't want to do them both on the same day or at the same time, you wanna do the roots and then give this a couple weeks to recover. And then we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna go ahead and shape the top. And it's gonna be great. So you can keep an eye on that um, cause that'll be coming up as well. But uh, right now, what I did was I put a little bit of my soil on the bottom. Now what it is, is a mix of perlite, um, regular quick draining uh, potting mix, um, sand, and lava rock. So that is all in here, um, and it should help to help this drain really fast when I do water it. 
um, like a regular bonsai. So I've got the, the root ball pretty nice and compact. I pulled it all away from the Navari here, which is the, the surface roots, as you can see. Now, because I have a circle training pot, I don't have to pick which side's the front. We can do that later. So right now we're just going to get it in there. So I think I need to move it up just a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit more of my mixture here on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and settle it in there now. I'm going to start to fill it in. Grab one more little handful quickly. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest up top here. Just make sure we don't cover that beautiful Mabari. Our surface roots. I believe it's a Japanese, if I'm not mistaken, Japanese or Chinese. It's an Asian name for surface roots on the top of a tree, on top of a bonsai, and on top of a big tree. That's what makes a, a little tree look like a big tree. And you have these beautiful roots coming out. And I do want to start to expose those. So I am going to do that. I'm not going to fill our container directly up. Now I did not need to wire this because I'm not using a super thin bonsai container as this, as, as this has been pruned so far back. I will wait to, prune, to go ahead and uh, transplant this again probably until um, the spring. So until, uh, definitely uh, wait till next season to go ahead and this will be, the roots will be nice and developed in there. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a good watering. And shortly, within a month or so, we'll give it a pruning. And definitely start to shape this little baby. Now let's pull this back and show you. See those beautiful roots there coming up, making it look like a big old tree? I certainly think it's a beautiful specimen. I think it'll be great to add to my collection. And um, please follow me with this, guys, because it's going to be with us for years to come, and you can follow the growth, and I'll show you how to prune it and wire it when it comes time. Thanks, guys. Please like and subscribe and share, and please leave comments. I appreciate them, good or bad. Thank you so much, guys, for all your time and just taking the time to watch my video. Have a great day.